can't get with that. I gotta keep it thick, never miss, so I hit them like this. I started out going to film school, went to School of Visual Arts in Manhattan, and uh, graduated from there. Started out at the bottom as a PA, worked my way up in the sound department, worked on Do the Right Thing, worked on Mo Better Blues, but I also was an editor. So I would edit music videos for like uh, Salt and Pepper, a lot of people, like a lot of videos. And then slowly it just started to meet all the video commissioners. And through Atlantic Records, I met Damon Dash. I did a video for Original Flavor. I met Jay-Z because uh, Damon Dash was managing him. So he was on the All That video set. Jay-Z was just this really quiet dude. Like he was just there. He was barely in the video. Like he was in the background. You might not even know he was there if you saw the video. I'd have to point him out to him. And the reason why he stuck out is because we were shooting at his bar and the bar was closed. But he wanted to buy a bottle of champagne. And the owner was like, you know, this dude keeps asking me to buy a bottle of champagne, but you know, we're closed, we can't legally sell it to him. Can you do something about it? So I went up and I was like, dude, you know, you can't really, I didn't call him dude, but I said, brother, you can't really buy a bottle of champagne because it's closed. And he was like, all right, it's all good. A few months later, the video came out. It actually was a successful video. And I ran into Damon Dash, like in Manhattan downtown. And he was like, yeah, I want to do a video for my, for my friend. You know, his name is Jay-Z. We're going to start this record label. And that was Rockefeller Records. And it was the first video we did was called I Can't Get With That. We shot it in Marcy. Uh, very low budget, but that was like the first introduction of Rockefeller. It's full of money. This world is full of shit. One life, one love, y'all. I bought a black Mac. I'm out of control, losing bank rolls on blackjack. You got on with the first video of I Can't Get With That. I just realized that, first of all, Jay-Z was, he was a cool, cool fella. You know, he was a cool dude. So, you know, you you have to sort of pick your pick who you want to believe in who you want to go on the journey with and I was like well this cat he seems real humble he's really quiet he's really nice but he's really talented so I was like all right I'm gonna go on this journey with these guys they're just starting out so there's really no competition it's really just about focusing on the art and taking it to a level where everyone feels comfortable enough to showcase their work videos we did uh, in my lifetime and the in my lifetime was a ball of video without ball of budget but, you know, everyone had their lane that they were in, so we were able to go to St. Thomas, bring a bunch of girls, bring a crew, and shoot a video without spending a lot of money. We had boats and yachts and, and houses and mansions and everything, but they knew everybody who owned the stuff. So it was, you know, and he had like stacks of diamonds, but it was all his stuff. So it was kind of funny, like, all right, who are these cats? You know what I mean? Like, who are these dudes who just can just, they were spending their own money. They, didn't even, they were just Rockefeller records, but not officially out there in the market. We were setting up different vibes of Jay-Z, of him being a baller, but him not so out there where you're just like, oh, he's so flashy, or he, you know, he was like low-key balling, but you know, you gotta kinda pay attention to what he's saying, the lyrics, you'll see the jewels, but it's not too crazy, you know what I mean? So that was just the setup. And then when it was time for a Dead President's video, it was a whole different vibe.